All right, so in the last part of this series, we're going to solve for volume. We've solved for density already and mass. So we're told to find the volume when given 90 grams. So grams tells us this is our mass. And two grams per mil, we have both a, a mass and a volume unit here, so we know that is our density unit. So we're going to plug that into our formula. All right, our density is two grams per mil. Our mass is 90 grams, and we do not know what the volume is. We must solve for the volume. Kind of the easiest thing to do in this situation is to cross multiply. You cannot move the 90 away from this. That would leave behind an improper fraction. You just can't do it. So we're going to cross multiply. Right? So this over here is essentially one milliliter on bottom. So we're going to cross multiply. All right, we're going to get 2 grams times V equals 90 grams times milliliter. All right. So our variable is still not by itself, so we must continue. All right, so we're going to do the opposite action here. We're going to divide both sides by 2 grams. All right. This cancels and becomes 1. Our grams cancel here. All right. So now we have V equals 90 milliliters divided by two. So V, our volume, is 45 liters.